everybody, what's up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Rebecca Louise and this is Wake Up Wednesday. So on Wednesdays we talk about motivation and every week you also get a new workout. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. Guys, I'm actually in Norway right now. I've been traveling around in Iceland and I've made it to Norway, absolutely the most beautiful countries. If you have not already seen uh, some of the photos, I'm doing some pretty like daredevil stuff. Uh, go and check that out on Rebecca Louise Fitness, that's my Instagram and you can also check me out on Facebook too and I didn't want to just say right we're not having a wake up Wednesday or workout videos because I'm traveling and I always want to make sure that you guys get exactly what you want so this is a question that I have been asked numerous times and I've been really pondering it over the last like few weeks and I feel like I've like come to a point where I'm like I've got the answer for you so this is the secret of staying motivated I get asked this question on a daily basis how do you stay motivated how do you stay on track and guys, I'm going to let you into a massive, massive secret. There is one main thing that's going to help you stay motivated, and that is called learning how to be disciplined. Yes, it's actually crazy. It clicked me the other day. I was like, how do I so, stay so motivated? Like, how do I get up every day? I, you know, don't procrastinate. I get stuff done, I feel so motivated, and I really think it comes down to being disciplined, and I've actually taught myself how to be disciplined, so I'm going to go through seven steps of how you can be disciplined, and seven steps that's going to help you to be disciplined, and of course, if you've ever got any questions for me, if you've got an idea for Wake Up Wednesday, make sure you drop it in the comments below, because I always read everything that you guys write, and I want to make the videos that you want. Okay, so per per perfect, so let's get started. Number one, the first thing on staying disciplined is to remove temptations. Remove anything that's not serving you, whether it's people, whether it's food, whether it's um, your job, whether it's the environment. So just stay away from those distractions. Anything that's distracting you or putting you off from getting where you want to be, um, that's going to help you in staying disciplined. And that's going to help with your focus because if you're focused, you're disciplined and you're motivated. And guys, when you're disciplined and you get results, what happens? You become more motivated. Then you become more motivated, you become more disciplined, you get more results, and it's like this amazing circle of success. But also, it can go round the other way as well. When you don't do anything, then you don't see any results, then you're less motivated, then you do even less, and then you see less results. So always make sure that you're spinning in the right direction. You wanna be heading in the way that says, I'm gonna get results, I'm gonna stay disciplined, I'm gonna see more results. So. Remove anything that's not serving you and going to help you in that direction. Number two, don't wait for something or procrastinate. You know, this is the way, reason that so many people like don't be, but aren't successful because they're waiting for that perfect time. They're waiting for something, you know, magic to happen to say, hey, you're on the right track, let's go for it. So when it comes to being disciplined, you know, that's really conscious of being, you know, not wasting time. So being disciplined means making sure that you're getting up early, uh, you're going to bed when the job gets done, and you're staying true to exactly what it is that you want. So make sure that you don't wait or procrastinate for something to happen. Number three, remind yourself daily on why you do something and who you're doing it for. So for example, if you're looking to lose weight um, and you want it's because you want to be able to run around with your children and you want to be healthy, then a great thing is to be like, okay, the why and the who I'm doing this for is my kids. Um, maybe it's that you want to work hard enough so that you can pay to go and see your family or something. So remember that why. Remember why, why you're doing something. It's going to stay really true to you to help you stay disciplined. Uh, so always remind yourself on a daily basis basis you know you can even write a journal what are you grateful for who you're doing this for why you're doing it and uh, and who you're doing it for number four you've got to give yourself small little rewards along the way it's not saying like okay you've down a pound so now you're going to eat a whole chocolate cake that's not what i'm saying you want to do small celebratory things like along the way just to reward yourself and just to kind of be like okay wow like i've come so far i've done a really great job um, but i'm still pursuing where i want to go so and that's the biggest thing is you know being content with where you're at while pursuing where you want to go and that's really really important because you've got to be grateful to where you are right now where you've come to, from but you've also got to stay right okay I'm content where I am but I've got to keep pursuing where I want to go so give yourself those small you know celebrations don't go crazy don't go wild but also don't you know restrict yourself from everything you want to also celebrate those small successes number five forgive yourself if something doesn't go right you know if you've had a bad day the last thing that you can do is go boohoo poor me I didn't do it again I didn't do what I'm supposed to do I didn't go to the gym I didn't eat properly I didn't do my work I didn't do my homework boohoo hoo don't feel sorry for yourself okay just go okay 
didn't have a great day no problem i know this how this how how this makes me feel and i don't want to feel like this tomorrow so i'm going to learn from this and i'm not going to make it um keep going forward tomorrow so to forgive yourself for when you kind of mess up or maybe you didn't eat the right thing or whatever it was but always just learn from those mistakes learn how you feel because when you start to feel that way about yourself you know you're just like okay like now's the time to change like i don't want to feel like this anymore i want to feel like i'm succeeding um and that's going to come big part of it when it's being disciplined so forgive yourself and let's learn from those little mishaps number six always remain teachable and always be ready to grow. That's a big thing of saying disciplined is like being a student, saying disciplined in the uh, in the you know philosophy and making sure that you just know like, okay, I'm gonna say disciplined, but I'm always willing to work on myself more. I'm always ready to be teachable. And that's a big thing of being disciplined is not always thinking yourself is right. You wanna make sure that you are always bringing in new knowledge um, and, and learning from people that have got what you want and that's really going to help you in staying disciplined because if you are following something that someone else is doing that you want, boom, what's going to happen? You're going to get the same results. So it's so key for you to stay disciplined in learning and learning from other people and always remembering to be that student. Because if you, you're not at where you want to be right now, then all you've got to do is follow the people who already have what you want um, and it's going to happen. So helping you being uh, disciplined is going to make sure that you remain teachable. If you remain teachable and you keep following the plan, it's really easy that you're going to be successful. Okay, It's just like, just like how it is. Uh, so that's going to help you in staying disciplined too because you always want to learn more and you always want to be teachable and then the last thing number seven everything comes in steps of sevens over here on Rebecca Louise find your burning desire find the the, the intrinsic drive within you that makes you and propels you to get up every single morning to do the best that you can be the best version of yourself so whatever it is that you are trying to achieve right now, you want to find that desire inside that there's such a burn that the fear and the thought of not succeeding outweighs and overcomes all the fears of even just trying to attempt it. So find that burning desire inside you of whatever it is that you want. And maybe you don't have that burning desire right now because you don't know why or you don't know what it is that you want. So first of all, in helping staying disciplined, you need to find out what it is that you want. And you've got to find out why that is what you want. And that's going to keep you on the right track because that's going to give you that burning desire. If you're doing something that you don't love, you're not going to stay disciplined at it. You're not going to be motivated. Okay? You don't have that burning desire within you. So let's recap on those things, on the secret of staying motivated. It's all down to discipline. And the tips of being disciplined is remove those temptations. Don't waste time or procrastinate. Remind yourself why and who you're doing this for. Give yourself small celebrations along the way. Forgive yourself when you mess up. Be teachable and always be ready to grow. And lastly, find that burning desire inside your soul. Guys, you are capable of way more than you think is even possible. If you just get focused with yourself, declare that you're going to do this, do the work, be disciplined, you're going to get motivated, you're going to feel happier. When you get results, you feel happy. When you're moving in the right direction, you start to feel happier. And when you feel happier, you do more. Then you get more results. And then what happens when you get better results? Oh my goodness, then you start to do more and then you feel happier. It's this amazing circle of success. So guys, listen to these um, videos while you're driving, maybe when you're in the gym to get you fired up and pumped up for life. Life, this is Wake Up Wednesday. It's designed to wake up your life, wake up the middle of the week and help you guys progress to wherever you want to be and becoming the best versions of yourself. So again, if you've got any questions, please drop it in the comments below. Um, I love you guys. I'm here in Norway. Um, I'll show you outside our window right now of, uh, of where we are. This is a uh, pretty epic, beautiful, seeing some amazing sights. So if you guys have any recommendations for Norway, uh, please just uh, put it in the comments below and I definitely would love to read them. So thanks guys for joining me today. Mwah! See you guys later. Bye.